నమో నమ అందరికీ నమస్కారములు శుభోదయం టుడే ఈజ్ ద ట్వంటీ సిక్స్త్ డే ఆఫ్ అవర్ లెక్చర్స్ అన్ సనాతన్ ధర్మ యూ హ్యావ్ ఆల్రెడీ కంప్లీటెడ్ వన్ మంత్ ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ వర్క్ అండ్ నౌ వి స్టార్టెడ్ విత్ ద సెకండ్ మంత్ విత్ వైదిక్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ దెన్ ఇట్ విల్ బీ ఫాలోడ్ బై షోడస సంస్కారములు అండ్ దెన్ సమ్ యూనో ఇంపార్టెంట్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఫ్రమ్ రామాయణం అండ్ మహాభారతం ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ వీల్ హ్యావ్ ఫ్రమ్ రీసెర్చ్ టాపిక్స్ అండ్ దెన్ వాస్తు డ్యూరింగ్ దిస్ మంత్ డ్యూరింగ్ లాస్ట్ మంత్ ఫస్ట్ మంత్ వీ హ్యాడ్ వేదాస్ వేదాంగాస్ ఉపనిషత్స్ ధర్మశాస్త్రాస్ దర్శనమ్స్ అండ్ దెన్ వీ హ్యాడ్ భగవద్గీత ఆయుర్వేదం అండ్ దెన్ పంచాంగం so the basic aim of this course is to touch upon or increase the awareness of the basics of sanatan dharma to the people who are uh, uh, beginners of this course uh, so we'll have uh, another three levels of uh, this course with you know uh, getting deeper and deeper into the subject um so this course is generally the basics you know just to introduce the awareness of various topics that's why all topics are covered so we are working on second level which will go uh, deeper into the subject so i want to bring out this point today um, so let us start with uh, our course the webinar today with vande mataram and then we will uh, have prarthana from anandan ji then we will have the webinar thank you vande mataram vande mataram sujalam sufalam మలయజ శీతలా శ్యామల మాతరం వందే మాతరం శుభ్రజ్యోత్స్నాపులకితీ పుల్లకుసుమిత త్రుమదళశోభి సుహాసి సుమధురభాషిణి సుఖదాం వరదాతరం వందే మాతరం వందే మాతరం వందే మాతరం ధన్యవాద challa chitti babu garu now uh, let us request uh, anantan ji to start prarthana anantan ji hari om one minute meditation let us close our eyes relax our body take deep breath and leave slowly remember your ishta daiva or kula daivam can chant his mantra or any mantra like rama mantra etc ఓ 
ಗಣಪತಿ ಗುಂಹವಾಮಹೆ ಕವಿಂ ಕವೀನಾಪಮಶ್ರವಸ್ತಮ ಜ್ಯೇಷ್ಠರಾಜ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣಸ್ವತ ಆನ ಶೃಣ್ವನ್ನೋತಿ ಬಿಸೀದ ಸಾಧನ ಮಹಾಗಣಪತ ನಮಃ ಪ್ರಣೋ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವಾಜೇವ್ಯರ್ವಾಜಿನೀವತಿ ಧೀನಾಮವಿತ್ಯವತು ವಾಗ್ದೇವ್ಯೈ ನಮಃ ಗುರುರೇವ ಗತಿ ಗುರು ಮೇವ ಭಜೆ ಗುರು ನೈವ ಸಹಾಸ್ಮಿ ನಮೋ ಗುರವೇ ನ ಗುರೋ ಪರಮಂ ಶಿಶುರಸ್ಮಿ ಗುರೋ ಮತಿರಸ್ತಿ ಗುರೌ ಮಮ ಪಾಹಿ ಗುರೋ ಜ್ಞಾನಂದಮಯಂ ದೇವ ನಿರ್ಮಲ ಸ್ಫಟಿಕೃತಿ ಆಧಾರಂ ಸರ್ವಿದ್ಯಾಂ ಹಯಗ್ರೀವಮುಪಾಸ್ಮಹೆ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ ಪಾದಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೆ ವ್ಯೋಮವತ್ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತ ದೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌಗುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರ ವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿ ನವದೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿದ್ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತೆ ಶಾಂತೆ ಶಾಂತಿ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಅನಂತಂಜಿ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಗೌತಮ್ ಜಿ ಟು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಹಿಸ್ ವೆಬಿನಾರ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ yesterday we had uh, <clears throat> discussed about this uh, some special cases of the paravartya method so it is uh, how to uh, which is not uh, near a uh, power of 10 how would a factor making a factor how to bring it near about uh, 10 near about the power of 10 but if there is some fraction comes how to handle that fraction the practice it will come by the understanding the relation between that quotient and remainder they are connected by the divisor that is what we uh, uh, brought in mind now we come to that uh, another part of the division so far we had done division uh, finding the quotient and remainder but the process may not uh, stop there we want in a uh, this uh, uh, with remainder we want to express in uh, fraction and decimal form so <clears throat> basically the relation between the uh, dividend divisor quotient and remainder are as follows e is equal to if e is the dividend d is the divisor q is the quotient and r is the remainder it is formula is e is equal to d into q plus r or e by d is equal to q plus r by d so when you divide a uh, dividend by a divisor we get a quotient but 
this uh, in a relation we get a remainder but actually the, uh, we can further express it as a remainder by division, uh, divide, divisor where r is uh, less than d so far uh, r is not less than d obviously it will contribute keep on contributing to the q and finally when r becomes less than d so depending upon the requirements division may be left at finding the q and r only or we may have to, uh, we have to ha have to express as form shown as r by d sometimes say r by d we can have in decimal format also 15 divided by 4 you can <clears throat> write quotient is equal to 3 uh, remainder is equal to 3 but 15 by 4 you write either you can write the full and a fraction part 3 full and 3 by 4 or 3.75 for an expression e by d where e is greater than d can always be expressed as a whole part plus a fraction of the form n by d where the numerator a is less than the denominator d or actually r by d i told you or you call it in the numerator by denominator also when you uh, uh, consider fraction we call it the numerator uh, no longer we call it remainder any rational function of the form n by d becomes a terminating decimal when the denominator is purely comprising of factors of 2 and 5 2 and 5 are the our components of the decimal the our decimal system we are using where the base is 10 and this 10 has two factors namely 2 and 5 therefore purely comprising of 2 and 5 will lead to terminating this fully terminating decimal like half is point uh, uh, 0.5 One fourth is zero point two five. Three by four is zero point seven five. One eight, one by eight, and so on. Three by eight is this. Three by, and uh, similarly one by five, three by five, one by two five. All are terminating decimal. A rational fraction whose denominator ends in one three seven or nine. Mind it, this uh, four numbers you must remember. Any rational fraction whose denominator Is a number whose unit digit is one, three, seven, or nine becomes a recurring decimal, purely recurring decimal. One by three is point three 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 three, and we write a dot. One by seven, <clears throat> one by seven is one four two eight five seven point, and that repeats. And uh, similarly, one by eleven is point zero nine zero nine. We put like this. We do not uh, actually. This kind of thing was not in Unicode, so like we would put it like this. Actually, we do not write the rest of the thing. What we do, we in the beginning and end we put a dot. Or sometimes uh, some people uh, like to put a bar on the above. But bar above we are using for binculum, so we do not put bar. There. We get confused. So this is the idea. They become a purely recurring decimal. Now, when it is. In sin one three seven or nine, a rational fraction other than the above, where the denominator um, uh, other than two categories, where the uh, is a will be a non-recurring part, will have a non-recurring part as well as followed by a recurring part. Like one by six is point one triple and six repeat. Eight by fifteen is point five and three recurring. Nine by fourteen okay, is point six, and then four two eight five seven one four two seven eight five seven one repeat like this. Actually, the length of this length of this non-recurring part will be the maximum power of two and five. There, actually, as I told that ten is equal to This base, our base has two and five. Now, in the denominator, if we get single power of these two, single power of five, or single power of both two and five, say only it is a step, something by ten, something by ten will make it another zero will come, extra zero will come. So that that zero is also non-recurring part. So, but whereas Uh, if we get, say, for example, the two into two to the power three is there, whereas a denominator contains two to the power three, and then say five five square means twenty five into this eight, two hundred. 
So you will find that it it uh, it, it will have three non-recurring parts. Maximum of these two. Whereas something is happening. Suppose two square into five cube is happening in the apart from it is a mixed actually a mixed from this one and uh, two square and five cube is there mixed with one three seven nine. Then maximum will be three again because this is a max, uh, maximum of this power is three. Here also maximum of power is three. Something is a two into twenty five. Means fifty something uh, something by fifty. Okay, so this fifty uh, or uh, so we say three fifty. It contains also something a uh, factor of seven or something like that. This will contain because it is uh, three hundred fifty. It contains a, actually a twenty five and two. So this because of this twenty five means five square. It will have two uh, fixed part. Two fixed part. Because it is uh, maximum power of the two and five is two, so this way you keep and uh, keep in mind. Uh, we come to the next slide. <clears throat> A fraction of third type can be easily transformed by multiplying both numerator and denominator by either a power of two or by uh, by power of five in order to neutralize the d. So, for example, one by six is how much? Five by thirty, and one by ten of again five by three. So actually, this can be separated. This is the idea that why we are getting a fixed part as a, and a recurring part. This one by uh, ten, uh, one by ten only, and two by thirty. So one by ten is giving rise to this, this one. This, uh, this, the whole thing by uh, this uh, one is giving to this one full part, and two by three is leading to. It is purely uh, uh, recurring. Similar. So this is coming to recurring. This uh, one, this one. And when you divide the whole thing by ten, it becomes that one in the full part came, comes to decimal. So this is this is the mystery of the uh, fixed part and the uh, recurring part remains as. Right. So that's basically the non non terminating part results from a whole part, and the recurring part from a fraction of the second type means that completely. Uh, completely uh, uh, repeating, I mean, uh, recurring, and uh, which is ending in 1379. So, more examples are given. So, 20, uh, 29 by 74, it actually can be expressed by, as I told, by, by to, have to neutralize that denominator. The 74 is the denominator, you have to neutralize by properly uh, giving either a uh, more power of, as, the, as, it, as it is required, is a more power of 5 or more power of uh, a two you have to give so that it becomes some zero at the end and this ending with a 1379. This, you remember these four numbers, 1379. So ultimately it can be expressed as 1 by 10 of 145 by 37. And uh, 3 plus, this is 145 by 37 can be resolved as 3 plus 34 by 37 and by divided by 10. So 0 0.3, 0 0.3 and 34 by 37 is by 10, and this therefore 0 0.3, uh, 0 0.3, and this uh, 34 by 37 actually has a three length uh, recurring decimal 918, <coughs> 0 0.918, and when you divide by 10, it becomes 0 0.3918. Similarly, to another example, 29 by 7, uh, 29 by 75, we uh, here is uh, here is actually. Uh, 75 contains, as I told, uh, uh, 25, so 5 to the power 2. So we have to uh, 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 multiply this thing, both numerator denominator by 4. To neutralize that five, uh, 5 square, we have to uh, multiply by 2 square. So this will make it 300. And as I, uh, this is uh, uh, 0 0.01 into 116 by 3, which is 38 by 2 by 3, and this for is 0 0.38, and uh, 0 0.38, and this is 2 by 0.666. So it is actually um, point, uh, I mean, 666, actually, uh, slightly mistaken, 66 by this one. Oh, oh sorry, sorry, no, 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 sorry, sorry, not mistaken. This uh, 0 0.38 and 0 0.1 into 0 0.666, so it becomes. 0 0.38666. So it has this two part, two fixed part comes because the original one 
what was having five square in built in our end into it and then this 0.666 actually any point uh, 0.6 actually basically point 0.6 dot comes because of this two by three so this uh, part is clear how it is comes to fixed part and uh, uh, recurring part about the mixed kind of part again we want to do reverse after obtaining the remainder acha no i was discussing something else that suppose you want to continue after obtaining the remainder in the nikhilov method we can put a decimal point at the quotient and put a zero on the remainder and continue the process like we do in conventional method also however the process may become long in nikhilov and conventional method alike like uh, i given uh, this is not very uh, regards don't have to you can only know that it can be done 30 by divided by 8 so earlier we did like this and we uh, came to that 2 and 6 but uh, we can continue with another zero and with the same procedure of nikhilam or as as you do in conventional with uh, and nikhila we can put and then it, it will keep on doing uh, like this and we finally come to 3.75 it is possible to get in nikhilam method also that i want to show however in nikhilam method as as a to nikhilam method or conventional method becomes very long at times very very long uh, so We, here this is uh, there are better procedure for that we are uh, decimal expression using the film to the 89 89 division 89 will have 88 recurring digits 88 recurring digits so it will keep on doing like this the probably this whole page will be full if we do by nikhilab or even by conventional method if we want to do say uh, this by 89 you will find 88 recurring digit it will uh, take quite uh, some minutes but so now i come to the reverse uh, reverse one decimal form to fraction for a terminating decimal denominator becomes one followed by as many zeros as the number of digits after decimal point then we write in the minimized form that uh, if you require the point uh, point 125 is a terminating decimal so while matching the 1 to 5 we write similar number of zeros 1000 And it becomes one by eight by cancelling it. Five point four eight is five or forty eight divided by a uh, hundred, so it becomes one thirty seven by. Uh, I'm cancel it by it cancels by four, so it is one thirty seven by twenty five. For pure recurring decimal, put as many nines in the denominator as the, so it was as many zeros follow before up, after one as many zeros in case of terminating decimal, whereas in case of purely Uh, uh, recurring decimal. We are putting as many as nines in the uh, recurring part. So it actually it is point three recurring because this, as I told, the symbol is not available. So I I was putting three 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 and so on. So this three by nine. So there is one uh, one digit in recurring three by nine one by three point four five four five. So four uh, five actually this there are two parts in the recurring. So four five as many nine settled. So forty five by ninety nine is five by eleven actually is four point four five four five and so on. One four two eight five seven. One four two eight five seven has six digits. So we put uh, one four uh, one four two eight five seven divided by six number of nine and which is one by seven. For mixed kind of decimal, <coughs> in the uh, denominator put as many nines as the number of recurring digits. Followed by as many zeros as digits fixed. You have to remember this. On the numerator, subtract the fixed part from the total. Like point one six 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 six. You have to do what? Sixteen. Sixteen means that it is actually one and six. We we will see only this one. One and six. This is the total. I told. This is sixteen minus the one minus the fixed part divided by. As many in the recurring part, it is as many nine, and as many the fixed part, as many zeros as fixed part. So both are one one here. So fifteen by ninety becomes one by sixteen. Similarly, point six and eight one eight one eight one. So total is six eighty one. We told because this is eight one has two parts. This six eight is point six and eight one repeating. So six eighty one minus six divided by How many was there in the recurring part? Recurring part was two 
numbers of recurring parts, so two numbers of nine, and fixed part has one one fixed part points. The six was there, so one in the one number of zero. So this, if I do it, if I simplify it, this becomes fifteen by twenty-two. So we uh, cancel by forty-five. So is that plus clear? We actually uh, learnt it from childhood. So I, I think we must remember. No, we remember that we have learnt it some from somewhere. Maybe class seven or eight somewhere, isn't it? Okay, I can proceed. Now, recurring. We are. We'll be interested in uh, any uh, any question. Any question of this uh, decimal to fraction part? Okay. Now. <clears throat> Now, recurring decimal. We call, come to basic online method. So here, I uh, with the basic mathematic, uh, basic uh, online method, I fed uh, the formula in an Excel sheet. And once we fed fed the formula in the first place, this is this comes from. Uh, Division, integer division, int, int something by something, and this comes from mod. My name is uh, this is actually remainder. And then once you feed it, you can drag it to us like the as many as required. So don't have to repeat the calculation. Excel will do the calculation. Those of you know uh, Excel will appreciate that if I uh, share those sheets or tell how to do it. So then you change the number to 19 to make it 29. And automatically, the digit divisor will be two. We actually, digit divisor comes from nine, this 19 plus one divided by 10. This is the DD. DD is the money. Actually, DD, I'll tell you, digit divisor. There is some concept of digit divisor will come is equal to the money denominator plus one by 10. So with 19, it becomes two, with 29 becomes three. Automatically, this will be calculated. And then the particular numerator you want, I put the put the numerator and I put the formula. And the formula will be again, I can copy and once I write it, I can copy it and change that this particular digits, it will keep on calculating. So this is very easy actually in case of Excel, but let us learn how it is done actually. Regarding decimal, basic online method. Calculating a fraction like 1 by 19, 1 by 29, 1 by 49 are quite long and cumbersome, both in conventional division as well as Nikhilam method. Basic online method arising from the Sutra, Ekadhikano Purveno. Ekadhikano Purveno is a Sutra. It is easy and having more than one OS and it reveals further properties of the fraction as a cyclic property, nice complement, all kinds of property of the fraction comes, which we do not realize when you mechanically do it by uh, our conventional method or other method. Uh, maybe Nikhilam somebody may try, but conventional normally we use and it, do we <coughs> overlook that particular property. We sometimes we discover, okay, it has a cyclic property, but how the cyclic property comes, we do not know. But in this basic mathematics, basic uh, one line method, when you learn, we will be understanding how the cyclic property automatically comes here. Basic online method is directly applicable for denominators ending in nine. You mind it, it is actually basic online method uh, comes directly, it can be applicable with uh, denominator ending in nine. But about one, three, and seven, we have to do appropriate things. We'll be uh, learning it later. First, we'll let us learn with uh, ending in nine. So, basic online method, case of one by 19. Now, we'll be Learning about one by nineteen, how to do one by nineteen or is something by nineteen, up to eighteen by nineteen. So, mind it. Instead of dividing by one, instead of dividing one by nineteen, we shall start dividing one by digit divisor, which is DD is equal to D plus one by ten, but in a, a space way. I have written in a special way. I actually I wanted to write. I will correct it.
in a special way. We'll, we'll be dividing. We'll be di dividing by, instead of 19, we'll be dividing by this one, but in a sp special. In a special way. This comes from the Sutra Ekajikalu Purvena, meaning one more than the earlier. Here, in, in case of 19, the earlier is earlier to nine is one, and one more is more than one is two. So we start dividing by two. I told the same thing as in a formula, but also from the Ekajikalu Purvena, this becomes uh, simply you have to do add one to this. Purbeno. Purbeno of 9 is 1 and just add, add 1 so that it becomes 2. You don't have too much thinking like this uh, calculation. You simply you add 1. The next digit and first digit of the next digit. Put the decimal point. Now 1 divided by 2 results in quotient as 0 and remainder 1. We don't, don't say that 1 divided by 2 is 0.5. No, not that. We don't want that. We want the quotient and remainder. We'll, we'll be working with quotient and remainder only, continuously. Quotient becomes zero and remainder one. Quotient becomes zero and remainder one. The result line, we put quotient as zero. Okay, so what I do? I put a decimal point, okay? And when we divide one by two, we get a quotient, which is zero. And remainder is one. These two makes it, this remainder will be using as a tens digit. So this will make it 10. So 10 divided by two again. So we are dividing by two, mind it, in a special way. So this is, becomes how much? Five, 10 divided by two becomes five. Five again we divide by two becomes how much? Two is the quotient and one is remainder. Correct? Uh, is everybody uh, unmuted so that they can, uh, have, I can see the reaction? Then it becomes 12. As I told that remainder is used as the tens digit, so it becomes 12. So I divide by two, becomes six, no remainder. Divide by uh, two again, it becomes three. Again, I divide by two, it becomes one as quotient, one as remainder. Okay. Excuse and, me, sir. Uh, I just have one thing. Uh, for zero, after decimal, zero has a quotient one. Uh, quotient remainder. No, one. actually, we are, yes. Okay. We are actually uh, yeah, 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 yeah. one. Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we have started say. with one. No, no, no. I, I, I know. Uh, for five, there is nothing written down the line. For all other numbers you have written, why nothing has been written here? No, no, no. Zero, zero you need not write. Okay, okay. Fine. Okay. okay. Zero you can skip. Right. Okay. Thank you. Uh, now, six, three, and uh, with three, it becomes one quotient and one remainder. So this leads to five as uh, 11, and we divide by two is one, uh, five quotient and one remainder. So it goes on like that, seven quotient and one remainder. Okay, now next is, please tell me another person, tell, please tell. Eight, eight, one. Eight, one, exactly. This and is, nine. Eight, nine. one, exactly. Then becomes nine and no remainder. Zero. Right. Uh, then four, four and one. Four and one. This becomes seven. Seven. Seven zero. Seven and zero. So this becomes three and one. Uh, please, as I told, uh, people should, uh, people are carrying uh, copy and pen and pencil uh, and rubber also. Somebody if you come here. You, please try with pencil so that if you commit mistake or erase it also. So yourself, you can, even, uh, before I am proceeding with the class, you can even uh, do it. Three, one. Thirteen. Six, so one. six. Six one and eight then zero, eight zero eight zero 
फोर जीरो टू जीरो टू जीरो वन वन Now, as soon as you come to one, we started with one. You remember? Right. Obviously, we'll we'll again with one we'll get this the zero end. and one. So we'll get get back to the show where from we started. So we put it this dot and this dot, isn't it? <clears throat> so it has you count it has it has eighteen digits. For nineteen, it will be eighteen digits. Nineteen minus one. Some cases it, it these are like that. Some cases it is a it will be fraction of that uh, some that minus one. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen seventeen eighteen digits. Okay. So these I uh, in this particular passage I only describe that thing, but I showed you here directly. So uh, for everybody it is it has become easy. You understood the process. As I told, we instead of nineteen, we are dividing by anything. We will be dividing by two, but in a special way. What is the special way? We will put the quotient and remainder, and remainder we will be using as a tens digit for the next one. So I have written here. I have repeated successive quotient and remainders in the form of R Q. Uh, quotient and remainder written in the uh, left slightly smaller. From one for one by nineteen, remainders are left in small. Point zero five two six three one five seven eight nine four seven and so on. The eighteen digits. We again arrive at one, and that it is sequences will be repeating. So you call it one by nineteen is this one. Link eighteen. Now, sorry. You will find various properties. Let's see first nine. Is that nikhilam nabataha means that all comp nines complement of this second part of nine. So even if you know this property, what you can do, you can do halfway, halfway, and then other you write just by uh, subtracting from nine. Zero subtracted from uh, zero subtracted from nine becomes nine. Five subtracted subtracted from four uh, nine uh, nine becomes four. Two subtracted from nine becomes seven, and so on. Until now, less eight subtracted from nine is one. Come back to the one. There is still another way. For in case of one by nineteen, you could have started. See, it, I tell you, I, we, I can show it this one only. You could have started from right side also. See, this is uh, this is in the basic math only book. But you know that uh, somebody was uh, taught this thing in school, and later on uh, he published a paper on that. This happens. I mean, what I mean to say, each chapter probably, since we are, we have not learned from childhood, these are uh, look look so new that uh, probably whatever you have learned in past few days, maybe producing one one paper each. So uh, this happens. Actually, somebody uh, published a paper. Just uh, by this way, in the, this process, what I'm going to tell now. So, in the actually in the basic mathematics book, if you purchase, this is the uh, I, what I told uh, from the uh, left to right has been uh, described as the second procedure. But but first procedure was from right to left and with multiplication. So if it is one by nineteen, we first write one in the uh, as the rightmost digits and multiply by two it becomes two. Two multiplied by two becomes four. Again, four multiplied by two becomes eight. So, some people, uh, for some people, multiplication becomes easy, much easier than division. So for them, it is a, this shortcut is also there. Eight multiplied by two is sixteen. Put six there and one carry you right below. Now, again, next step is six into two plus one is thirteen. So put three here and one below. Three multiplied by two is six plus one is seven. Seven here, no, uh, uh, it doesn't contain anything. Uh, it is one digit. Seven multiplied by two is fourteen. As soon as it becomes two digit, we have to write uh, the uh, unit digits in the top and the uh, tens digit in the bottom. It becomes fourteen. Uh, 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 four we write and one is, uh, uh, money, uh, not called remainder. What is 
what we are calling remainder from left side becomes the carry from the right side. So, 4 into 2 plus 1 is 9. 9 into uh, 2 is 18. 8 is right here. 1 is here. Uh, 8 into 2 plus 1 is 17. So, 7 here, 1 here. 7 into 2 plus 1, 15. That way it goes. And 3, 6, and 12. 2 plus 2, 5. 5, 0. And finally, it comes to 5 uh, into two, two, uh, five into 2 is 0. So, uh, 10. It is 0 right here. Or 1. And this comes back to the 1. And uh, this next step will be 1 here. So, that, that 1, 3. We started with 1. So, we should put the dot there. You learned the both way. It, it can be uh, it can it can go from right to left, from left to right, from halfway. In any case, either you go to left to right, uh, uh, left to right, or right to left. What you do after the um, uh, for for nineteen, as I told you, there is uh, eighteen digits. So halfway is this one. After going halfway, you just do nine complete. Something by divided by money uh, 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 multiplication from a uh, uh, subtraction from nine. Okay, answer is any any question? Nine digits. I mean, not a, a, a nine digits. After nine digits, you can put a you can repeat it. Now, another property, right to left, no, I, I, I described here. In case of full cycle like this, digits are half length, nine, it complements, it is a other half length. So, uh, after evaluating nine digits, we, uh, we can could have gotten the rest by subtracting them from nine. So, you can see. Now, another interesting part we get, since we denote nine, 19, we get full cycle. It is very easy to get the result for other numerators. For example, in case of 9 by 19, the starting digit is 9, and we can follow the same procedure as previous, either division or uh, either division or left to right, a division for left to right, or multiplication for right, right to left. You can it's, unmute and uh, ask any question. Huh. So here, what I told, so see, we want 9 by 19. See, actually, for that, we also want the full uh, sequence of, so this is the actual sequence, showing the remainder also. Now, tell me, I told that how to get 9 by 19. The question was how to get 1 by 19 sequence is there. Okay. But 9 by 19 is what? So 9 by 19, if we do 9 by 19, it will start from here. Here. 0. 0.473681 and then we'll come back to here and so on. Suppose I want uh, 15 by 19. You tell me what 15 by 19? Where from should I start? So once we evaluate any one of the new, uh, with only one numerator, you can have for any numerator. That is the idea. 15 by 19. 15 by 19. Uh, 15 by 19, not 5 by 19. 5 by 19 will be, from, you have to start from 2. But 15 by 19, you have to start from here, this 7. This is 15. See? One was remainder. So this is after that you have to start. So 15 by 19 will be starting. So 9 by 19 will be starting from 0 0.47. Yeah, 0 0.47, etc. And 9, 15 by 19 will start from this one, 0 0.789. 0 0.789. 4, 7, 3, 6, and it will uh, again 18 digits. All will be 18 digits. The starting point will be in case of 9 by 19 is 4 by 4, 7, point 15 by 19 will be point 7, 8, 9. Okay. So this actually we have to. So how many things we learned because of this method? 
thing is that first, first it can be done from uh, right to left or left to right. You can do it halfway and then do lines complement. And once a particular numerator is known, all other numerators can be inferred by what I, I named the giving the name bilocum, bilocum. Just observation. So I repeat that thing in my uh, text. Since with numerator 19 is a full cycle, it can be done only in case of full cycle, but for half cycle, there are other methods. In case of nine uh, Gautam ji, one, one question. Like uh, with the sequence, are you able to find out the 4 by 19, 7 by 19? Yeah. Uh, I didn't get that. Uh, how did you find out the uh, 15 by 19 or 9 by 19? Sorry, oh, can you repeat? 4 by, see, 4 by 19, uh, 4 by 19 you told. So uh, 4 by yeah. 19, it will be 4 means 4 and remainder 0. So 4 by 19 will be starting from point two one, point two one zero five two six three. Anybody wants to tell anything? Uh, Whereas 14 by 19, 14 by 19 will start from here. 14 by 19, after that 14, you see the 14 here? 14 by 19, you to see the 14? After So 14 by 19 will be after that. 0. 0.736841 and 052 and so on. 7 by, 7 by 19, you told? 7 by 19, this is 17 by 19. If I start with 0. 0.894. 7 by 19 is here. See, this is 7. So this is will be 0.36842105265 and so on. Okay. Oh, so simply we'll just go there and find that number <laughs> and we <still> okay? <laughs> Exactly. If I write in oh. this form with, without the remainder, if I write in this form, it will be difficult. See, there is this is a this is a seven. Where is it? There are two sevens actually. Nine is only one, but uh, seven is two. We're both. This is seven, and this also is seven. But what is seven? What is seventeen? Can be uh, can be known only if we go to that full uh, form actually with uh, remainder shown. Okay. Therefore, play, preserve the remainder also at times. You have to preserve the remainder. You have to know uh, when this below come. So uh, so multiply. So how many properties we learned? We learned about that. This can be done by um, a smaller number instead of. Instead of a high, high number like 19, more number like 19, you simply divide by 2 instead of 19. Number one. Number two, you can go by left to right. For, I mean, left to right means you will produce more significant digit, when it's most significant digit first and less significant digits uh, later. Whereas uh, right, uh, right, right to left will produce when the least significant digit first and then it will uh, come back to the more significant digit finally. And then uh, you can do halfway, you can do, and then in case of full cycle, half, half you can do halfway, means nine, and then you can do nine's complement. You can reproduce one from the other, you do cut, cut it halfway, and nine, one is coming from another uh, by subtracting from nine. Third property is that given a particular numerator, you can do for guess for any other numerator. You can guess for any other numerator. So this is the third one. So all these properties he got. Now we come to 1 by 29. I, I have one point. If you go back to the slide. That's, now, uh, you said that we have to preserve the original uh, ha, ha, ha. form. While, but, while but, evaluating like this, while writing like this. Right, right. But then, but then what I say is that even if you don't remember that from the main one, ha, ha, ha. Ha. here also we can do because ha, yes, yes. If, With practice, if, the, yes. if there are two sevens, the one which is, uh, you can see the next one, <laughs> it says that yes. either it is the eight because it is sixteen and eight, and this is seven. So <laughs> you can say that there is yes. a zero. When we become a slight expert, okay. one can uh, no no need to preserve the uh, remainder all the time. Oh yeah, yeah. thank <laughs> you, thank you. When just by uh, one or two steps, uh, showing that you can see that it is repeating. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Now we come to one by twenty nine. Since the denominator ends in 9, the digit, digit divisor will be one, 1 more than previous. That is, uh, previous of 9 is 2, and the 1 more than is uh, 3. Also, uh, digit divisor comes from d plus 1 divided by 10. So, 29 plus 1 by 10 is 3. Divide 1 by 3. So, 
quotient can be either zero, but in case of something you divide by three, either quotient can be zero or can be one or two. So, um, so you have a proceed like this. In case of one by three, so I am doing one by three basically. Actually, one by nineteen we are doing, but we are dividing one by three in a special way. So it point comes and then. Uh, one by three, so zero is the quotient and one is the remainder. So it becomes ten. Again, uh, ten divided by three. Three is the uh, quotient. One by three into three plus one. So three quotient and one remainder. And thirteen. So four quotient, one remainder. Fourteen uh, becomes twenty-four. It becomes eight. Then again two, seven. It goes like that. After doing halfway, you just can do halfway means. In case of 29, we know 29 minus 1, it will be, it will have 29 also to full cycle. It's a 20 digits, uh, uh, 28 digits, 28 divided by 2. This divided by 2 is equal to 14. So after doing 14, you can just fold it, and you can either keep keep on evolving and see that always comes to. Nine's complement. Nine's complement. This uh, this adds up to nine. Always it adds up to nine. And this way you can do. And again the same thing that suppose we did for one by three. You can do right for right to left also. You start with one again. One by three. You have to start with one. One into three. Three into three. Three into uh, nine. Uh, nine into three. Twenty-seven. Seven right here and two uh, carry. Seven into three plus one. And seven into three plus two, twenty-three. Three here, two here, and this will this will go until unless it again produce one and zero combination. So that you starting is one, so it becomes after we do this thing it becomes one. So that that one is this one. So we put a dot above, uh, sorry, dot dot above this and dot above this. Complete it, and now again same thing. Suppose you want to do. 18 by 29. So we start from this is 18, and 18 by 29 will start from 0.62068966. All these things, and one after that you come to zero, and so on. It will end at 18. Means eight and carry one. It, it will carry uh, end at eight. So this is the same thing basically. Mm -hmm. One by 19 you can do by this thing. In one by 19 too, we could have started from. From one and keep multiplying by three and adding carry if any of uh, keep in uh, carry if any for right to left method. We see after half length that is fourteen digits corresponding digits becomes nines complement. For other numerator n we can similarly start to it n and keep in uh, keep on uh, uh, dividing left to right or multiplying in case of uh, right to left. One by twenty-nine being full uh, recurring cycle, we can guess for other numerators. Sequence being like this: point three and uh, this one, point three and this and this. We can guess, say, for fifteen by nineteen, and and the first five in fifty-five. This one, first five. Because fifteen by nineteen, uh, oh. sorry, fifteen by twenty-nine, fifteen mm, by twenty-nine. When this this five we multiplied by, uh, sorry, divide by five. So this is this was actually fifteen. So therefore, if, when you uh, divide by fifteen, becomes five with no remainder. And again, five divided by three is one. One divided by five is. Uh, uh, this uh, one and one divided by three. Number. Oh no, no, sorry. Five divided by not five. Five divided by three is uh, five. I'm sorry. Fifteen divided by three is five. Five divided by three is one and two here. So it becomes twenty-one and twenty-one divided by three is seven, and this way it goes. So did I confirm that? This is the one where I put a dot here, and uh, one by fifteen by twenty-nine is five point five one seven two four one. It starts like that. Okay, this this I've written. Guess for four by twenty-nine, seven by twenty-nine, thirteen by twenty-four. Okay.
क्लियर फॉर फ्रैक्शन ऑफ द फॉर्म एन बाई ए नाइन we start dividing n by a plus 1 i, I repeated this thing any expression as per rule ikaji kono purbe no in the way we have illustrated in case of 1 by 90 9 by 19 a n by 19 and n by 29 here a can be uh, multi digits as well as man it can be say 119 it can be also the illustration of the excel sheet i have uh, with the using excel sheet i have put illustration for 1 by 59 59 also has It is a full cycle. Full cycle comes for another very complicated, uh, not very complicated, but the expression is there. It is slightly higher mathematics. We have to get full and half, you know, or maybe some fraction. So, uh, using Excel sheet, I put. Uh, I can, can be done by hand also. It takes some time. So it is zero point zero one six nine and so on. So remainder are put here. This is the remainder line, and this is the quotient line. Remainder is put slightly. Uh, towards left, so this is point zero one six nine four nine up to point six six one. Also, I can put uh, I can could have multiplied keep on multiplied by six also. Digit divided is six. One into six is six. Six into six is thirty six. Is equal to thirty six. Again, six plus six plus nine is uh, six into six plus three is thirty nine. This thirty nine and so on. So similarly, we started dividing by six or uh, multiplied by six. This is one by Right. Now, how, how the what is the algebra behind this? So far, uh, we kept on uh, telling about algebra, but what is the algebra behind this procedure? Procedure is actually binomial expression of one minus a x, where x is less than one. So one minus a x to the power minus one actually is one plus x plus x square plus x cube plus x x to the power and so on. If we keep on uh, taking, keep on taking. X as a common, it becomes one plus x common again, one plus x common, one plus x common. It goes on like that indefinitely, where x is less than one. But how about one? How can we apply it one by nineteen and one by twenty-nine? Because it is ten n minus one form, but it is ten n is ten uh, n and one. It is nothing called uh, one. Ten n is more than one. So it is not less than one. So what do we do? We uh, take out ten n. From the very beginning, one by ten n actually uh, comes out, and then one minus one by ten n. This this part becomes less than one. I wanted to express this one by ten. You understood that ten n minus one. So you uh, keep feeding n is equal to one, two, three, four. You get nineteen, twenty nine, thirty nine, forty nine, fifty nine, sixty nine. All these things, isn't it? Ten n minus one. But ten n minus one is how to express is one uh, this one minus x where x is less than one less than one. So it is like this. First you take out one by ten n, and it becomes one minus one by ten n. This becomes now this particular one by ten n becomes less than uh, one and one minus that less than one. Two by minus one it becomes one by ten n is that comes out in the beginning. So one plus ten n. Uh, Uh, one by ten n minus one because already it is uh, one by ten n, so it is actually one by ten n. I want to tell the so ten n minus one, ten n minus two, ten n minus three, and so on. So ten uh, n uh, minus one uh, in the common, and then one plus ten n minus one uh, as a common. You're always taking ten n minus one as a common because it is ten n minus one, which is also and. Uh, 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 this ten ten n to the power minus one. I mean one by basically basically it is one by ten n. So one by in case of ninety two one by twenty, actually one by twenty. So one by ten n, uh, it will be it will keep on like that. More clearly in the next slide, I do it like this. Binomial expression of one by uh, one one over ten n minus one. So one by ten n minus one is one by ten n. One divided by one minus one by ten n. So it becomes one uh, divided by ten n. One minus one by ten n to the minus one, and ten one by ten n is less than one. So how to do one by ten n plus this one by uh, this one by ten n uh, ten n then square q and so on. If we keep on uh, taking the common, so it becomes like this in this form: one by ten n, one by ten n, so on. 
So that is the idea. And, and if I do anything other numerator, m, it becomes only simply 1 by 10 and initial 1 by 10 gets, gets to 10 to m by 10 n. So basically, in case of 1 by 19, what all happening? So this is suppose 19. 10 n minus 1. Something uh, multiplied by 10 and so what we are doing, instead of 19, we are dividing by 20, mind it. We divided by, you told us, you are, you are dividing by 2. I was dividing by 2, but actually in the background, we are getting, dividing actually by 20 all the time. How? Because whenever we are putting a decimal point, we, are, we have divided by 10, initial 1, divided by again 2, so it becomes uh, 1 by, basically 1 by 10 n. In every step, we are putting the next result to the next decimal point. That is the uh, division by 10. Putting something on the next decimal point means di dividing by 10. And we are always, it is something you can say also that uh, something you can do like that. Suppose we leave it here in the first step. So 1 by 10 n, how much is 1 by 10 n in case of 19 to 1 by 20 is point? How much is 1 by, anybody can say? 1 by 20 is how much? 1 by 20 is how much? 0 0.05. 0 0.05. 0 0.05. So had we left only this first place, we would have gotten 0 0.05. But we are not dividing by 20, we are dividing by 19. So it will be something more. How much more? It will come by that quotient and remainder. Again, uh, uh, this will be, uh, we have, sorry, quotient, not quotient and remainder. Yes, uh, this uh, remainder was zero. So we have to divide again five. This is we are dividing again. And that we are adding. So you are divide, as soon as you divide, we produce two and with the remainder mm -hmm. one. So actually this procedure, this particular, this, this, sorry, this procedure, not that. This, this is the more clear procedure. In every step, we are keep on adding. We are not satisfied with one by ten in one by twenty. This is this part. Only this part I am not satisfied. One by point zero five. Something more. Something more. More what? Again, something more. This two comes from here. Again, something more. That one by two, six comes from here. Okay. Then again, three comes from here. All this point zero five two. 6, 3. Each, every step is coming from that particular term. It is infinite term and it repeats also at the time, after 18 times it will repeat. But this expression goes to infinity. It is uh, independent. Okay. So it is, this is the background of the basic online method. The very uh, easy process. It is a, simply a binomial, binomial expression, uh, expansion of the 1 by 10 n minus 1. Okay, so I proceed. Those of you who are interested in algebra, so for that, but always you need not, uh, for learning the procedure, say when we, whenever this will be inter, uh, when inserted, as I told, insertion of these procedures in the 7, 8, 9 level are very, uh, very much required because if it is not done, then somebody will think that you know, these are not there and they will. Uh, uh, they will try to discover, sort of discover this simple procedure and will try to publish a paper and something. Although it is a part of the, uh, written that in that book, Vedic Mathematics. It is written in a book called Vedic Mathematics. Yeah, do you see that book? Written in book, Vedic Mathematics by Tirthoji. Uh, and it is his, it was published in 1960. So, but people will still keep on writing papers you think that we have discovered independently or something like that. So it's better to introduce in the uh, seven, eight, nine, and so on. Oh, sorry, I proceeded for that. I was here. Uh, now, basic online methods are that, are that kind of D. So far, we have put a denominator ending in nine only. Now, let us come to one, three, and seven. We have to multiply both the numerator and denominator by, in case of one by nine, in case of three by three, in case of seven by seven, respectively, to get a denominator ending in nine. And follow the same procedure. Thus, 
1 by 7 becomes 7 by 49. We start with 7 and keep dividing by 5 in a special way. That's special way. 7 by, therefore 7 by 5, 7 divided by 5 becomes. We divide 7, uh, basically 1 by uh, 1 by 7 we are doing. That is 7 by 49. This 7 by 49, yes. 7 by 49, I've written already. Now, this is uh, dividing 7 by 5. What is that? 1 is becomes quotient and 2 has given that. 21. Uh, so, again, I divide by 5. 4 has quotient, 1 has given that. 14. So, again, divide by 5. 2 becomes co uh, quotient and 4 becomes given that. That way, you go uh, again 8 and 2, 5 and 3. Again, come back to 7 and 0. And 7, if I do it, continues. It is actually, it has length of 6. Just 1 by 17, 7 is 1 uh, extra divided by 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7. 1 by 13. And again, uh, suppose you want uh, 2 by 7. How to do it? How, how to get 2 by 7? The 2 by 7 is 14 by 49. Here it doesn't come like that too. Uh, you have to write what's the origin of that. 2 by two by uh, 7 is 14 by 49. Where is 14? Here. So 2 by 14 will start from 0. 0.285714. Okay. This way. Suppose I come to 6 by 7. You tell me what to start. It is 42 oh, by 2857. 42 by 49. So, where is 42? 42 is our here. So, it will come from 0. 0.85714. It will start from 0. 0.85. It will only six digits of 0. 0.8. 8 will be the first digit. 0. 0.8. Uh, so, this is uh, now say 1 by 13. So it is. 1 by 13 becomes 3 by 39. We start with 3 and keep on dividing by 4. So 3 by 4 is 0 0.076923. It becomes that again. It ends in 3. So starting point was 3 and 3. Similarly, here also, you can uh, multiply uh, 3 into 3 is, uh, sorry, 3 into 4 is 12. 12, 2 and 1. 2 into 4, that will not ignore, no, 9. 9 into 4, 36, 3, 36. 6 into 4 plus 3, 27. 7 into 3 plus 3, it's 30. 7 into 2 plus 8, 30. Again, 0 into 3 becomes 3. So it go, comes back to 3. So 1 by 13 is this one. 1 by 17 becomes 7 by 9, 119. So it becomes 7 divided by 12. 1 by 17 has 16 digits. So this is also full cycle. You can... Uh, do, but it is different actually. These are different as I told. Uh, suppose I want to do something else by uh, 17. We have to correspondingly you have to find the how much by 119 so that you can get to the proper place. So this one actually is uh, 1 by 19. I did by Excel. For denominators ending in 1, that is for fractions like 1 by 21, 1 by 31, 1 by 41, etc., we have to multiply both n by d by 9. Here, there is a catch. There is, if it is the denominator uh, ended in, uh, say, numerator or uh, this uh, denominator ended in 3. You can multiply by three. It doesn't. It becomes very manageable. So instead of uh, in, uh, in case of thirty nine, you got uh, multiplication by uh, four. Uh, sorry, division by four or multiplication goes right to left. In case of seven, you uh, you are uh, doing by five, and in case of seventeen, you are doing by twelve. It has become slightly really larger, but still manageable. Five seven was very fine. It was by five. 
13 is very good actually by four but we come to the uh, first one 11 actually is very uh, small case so next we come to 21 suppose something we want to divide by 21 then we have to multiply both the numerator and denominator by 9. So, 90, no, 1 by 29 will become 9 by 189. And digit divided becomes 18 plus 1, 19. So, we wanted to avoid division by 21, but we will be ending in division by 19. In case of 30, 31 becomes 31, it becomes 9 by 279, that is digit divided is 28. And 1 by 41 becomes, digit divided becomes 37. So therefore, we wanted to avoid uh, division by, uh, sorry, division by 21, 31, 41, but ended in division by 19, division by 28, division by 37 and so on. So what is the catch? How, what, is there any other way? We consider that 1 by 21, 1 by 31, 41, etc. This power bar is 1 by, 10n plus 1, isn't it? Earlier we got 10n minus 1, and we got, we're getting now 10n plus 1. We have binomial exponential of 1 plus x as well as 1 plus x to the power minus 1, where x is less than 1. Therefore, this 1 by 10n plus 1 is 1 by 10n, if we take common, similarly to that, only the plus uh, and minus are different. So 1 by 10 and we take common and this comes to that 1 by 10 and again we get the more clearly we have written here. Uh, 1 by 10 n plus 1 and similarly m by 10 n plus 1. 1 by 10 n and it keeps common and 1 by 10 n my always this is you now see the difference earlier. Earlier everything was this plus 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 plus. Here, we are getting everything minus. All are minus, see? 1 minus 1 by 10, 1 by 10. So, in the same way, I say that 1 by 21 is equal to. And 1 by 20 is equal to. 1 by 20 is equal to 0 0.05 is equal to 0. Here, if I write 0 0.05, it will be slightly overestimation. So we have to reduce it. So this is 1.0.05, this one. This is 20, uh, n was uh, 2 here. So 1 by 20, this is 1 by 20 is 0 0.05. But I, it, is, it has become slightly overestimated. How much? It will be slightly reduced. But if I reduce to the next term, it will be again overestimation, over reduce. Again, basically, this plus, minus, plus, minus becomes plus. This is this, this is plus. Again, you have to increase slightly. Again, you have to reduce slightly. You have to increase. We are already reducing. We are, we are already reducing and again increasing. Again, reducing a smaller term. Always the term we are going will be lesser and lesser, lesser and lesser, because it is cube. Power, powers are increasing so that the absolute value of the things are increasing. I, I, mean, I mean, they're when there is fraction, the, the particular value is getting reduced all the time. And but we are doing alternatively plus and minus, plus and minus. Now, actual procedure, the change in the procedure, I'll tell you. 1 by 21, what we do? We first multiply digit divisor was 2. So this is. Not ekatikono purve no, but uh, it is a. Uh, I I cannot uh, <laughs> do it in that. Doesn't doesn't come in that formula. Ekon uh, unne no, can do it uh, and divide by. Of course, the ekon unne also is not coming. You keep it same. Keep it the first digit. Take the first digit. One by two. Quotient is zero. Remainder is one. Considering the binomial expression, we have to do ten r minus q in this case. Ten r minus q. See, earlier we did ten r plus q. Here it will be 10 or minus Q. Earlier, 10 digit, that means 10 digit means what? We are doing 10 times remainder plus quotient. But here doing opposite. 10 times uh, remainder 
a minus quotient. So in, in this case, instead of 10 R plus Q earlier, we did 10 into 1 minus 0. And of course, it doesn't get the difference anymore, 10. So 10 minus 2 is again 5, so it becomes 0 0.05. Up to that, it is no problem. Next, actually, that 0 into 10, 0 into 10, oh, sorry, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Mm. Uh, 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 10, uh, 0 uh, minus. Now it is, this comes, the difference comes. Uh, this is actually uh, uh, class 12, class 12, class 12, class 12, class 12, class 12. So this becomes minus 5. Uh, Minus five. How to handle this minus five? Have you ever divided a uh, negative number with Q and what should be the remainder and what should be the quotient? The, here something has to be understood. Tell me. Quotient and remainder concept. So this is the total number line. Yeah. Here you get one, two, two three, three four, etc. And you're getting minus one, minus two, minus two, minus, minus three. three, and so on. Okay. These are the number line. So if I I do it, say, I, I write 2.5, means something uh, more than 5. So 2.5 will lie here. Okay, here. Correct. But minus 2.5 will lie here. But it is actually, if I want to uh, express in the format of quotient and remainder, we'll say that 2 is quotient. And this particular one, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, I mean somebody we are dividing, no, dividing. It will be coming to fraction, no. These parts become more. Suppose I or suppose four are there. Or five, uh, here I'm uh, saying about five. Five. Five we are dividing by two. So here two is. Quotient. Two is quotient and one is remainder. That one actually will be is remainder. It actually comes in fraction, but one will be in the other side. Okay. Here also it is the same thing. Two into two plus one. So here actually we are getting one extra. Here also, we'll see that actually minus three is the quotient and two, uh, one is remainder. Always remain, remember that remainder is never negative. This formula have to do. Okay. So this part, this is the handling way. Minus three into two plus one is minus five. Then, so far the result will be showing as 0 0.5 and 3 as a, as a, uh, 3 above the money vinculum. Again, 10 into 1 minus minus 3 is 13. 13 divided by 2 it becomes, quotient is 6 and remainder is 1. So 0 0.053 3 vinculum, 6. Now 6 actually, again, and no, uh, 6 and 10 minus 6 is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Uh, so it is 10 by 3, 6, 2. So this will go. I, I, I have written in quotient and remainder form. After clearing the vinculum, we get actually the result. I get. I, I, I'll show, uh, tell you in this form. Yeah. 
So, there, I, I, I have given here two, both the ways. Either you can do by 9 by 189, you get this, this kind of things. Or you can write 1 by 21 in this format. Or digit divisor was 19 in case of 9 by 189. And here digit divisor was 2. So here get, you get 0 and 1. So here it becomes 10. 10 divided by 2 is 5 and 0. And actually it's minus 5 becomes minus 5. It becomes minus 3 and 1. And it can becomes the uh, becomes uh, six actually. Uh, Nine six five two one zero eight two. It becomes thirteen. The so thirteen and then becomes six and one again. One two minus one two eight two. ten minus six is actually four. Four divided by two becomes two and one. it actually requires some lot of practice. And finally, it becomes. Uh, so I've written somewhere. Uh, yeah. So I started with the case actually uh, to start with. I started with simple, simpler case where there is no negative to start with. I first you learn how to on one by twenty nine become one by 20, uh, 21 becomes slightly uh, sort of advanced because very fast we are getting minus five. But here you see you are not getting minus directly. So it, it, you first learn this one fourteen by forty one. How to write fourteen by forty one? So here, see, 14 by 41. I start dividing 14 by 4. So when we uh, divide 14 by 4, is how much? 3 is the quotient and 2 as remainder. This 2 as remainder, instead of 23, it becomes 20 minus 3. This, the upper one is always in Pimpula. So it becomes 17. 2 and basically 3. And here we don't, should not write 3 because a through a brinculum because in the result actually it will be positive 3. But in the next step, we are getting 20 minus 3 is 17. 17 divided by 4 is 4 and 1 uh, as remainder. Again, instead of 14, it becomes 6. And uh, here the, in the result line, we are getting 3 and 4. This 3, 4 is right in the result line. 6. 6 divided by 4 is 1 quotient and 2 remainder. Instead of 21, it becomes 19. Next step is 19. 9 uh, and 4 quotient and 3 remainder. And again, it becomes, instead of 34, it becomes 26. 26 again becomes two, uh, uh, 26 becomes 6 into 4 plus 2. So therefore, uh, 6 quotient and 2 remainder, it becomes 14. It comes to 14 back. So it basically, it has 5 digits. 14 by 41. The procedure uh, looks uh, difficult or easy? Difficult, sir. Difficult, sir. difficult only. <laughs> See, if we want to avoid that difficult, uh, if you want to avoid that, we we'll come back to this one. <laughs> 9 by 9, 189, isn't it? So it will be, it requires some time. In the, yeah, the thing is, in the result line, you are always putting the quotient. In case of 1 by, uh, one by 21, the very quotient was negative. So it was, uh, uh, quotient was minus 3. So it, we, had to, we had to put minus 3. Mystery vinculum. But in case of 14 by 31, uh, there was no negative, but but calculation always showed that here the quotient, very quotient was negative. So 1 and minus 3 became 13, not uh, not not 7. Had, had it been see, 3, it would have been uh, 7. But it, 1 and minus 3 becomes 13 and 13 divided by 2 is again 6 and 1. Uh, and finally, we cleared the bin pull ups. When, whenever there is 5 and minus 3, there will be 47, and 2 and 1 will be 19. So that this becomes 1 by 29, 1 by 21 becomes that one. That uh, I read with the growth 1 by 21, uh, how much? 1 by 21 is point zero five three. Uh, or 6 to uh, money, vinculum and 2 vehicle, we write 0 0.047619, 0 0.047619.
okay and here it is of course carrying directly 0.07619 but with lot of division by 19 always you keep on dividing by 19 and so on so avoid that we can use this negative method now um, 31 has this 30 length uh, 15 length and 3 uh, 3 1 is 29 6 2 is 58 6 vin column 2 is 58 uh, 7 vin column 2 is 35 by 51 7 vin column 2 is 68 1 vin column 1 is 09 Denominators ending in 7 can have two different ways. Multiply both n and d by 7 to have denominator ending in 9 or multiply both 9 n and d by 3 to have denominator ending in 1. For example, 8 by 17 can be expressed as 56 by 119 or 24 by 51. In the positive method, the normal earlier we have run, positive method start dividing 56 start dividing 56 by 12. You arrive at this 0.470588235 and so on. In negative method, start dividing for 24 by 5. It is up to choice. You divide by 12 or divided by 5. So again, this is very interesting that 12 plus 5 is 17. The positive method and negative method these are also also called osculator. When you come next tomorrow's class, osculator, we will be uh, learning that is uh, 17 has two osculators, either minus 12 or uh, plus 5. So this is negative method. You, uh, start dividing 24 by. It is up to your choice. Only thing is that you have to clear the vinculums in case of when you are dividing by, uh, when you are following the negative method. So this is by this way, uh, two ways. Exercise, exercise on recurring decimal. I shared the uh, thing, shared the um, PowerPoint presentation. You please do yourself this bin coulombs, either positive method, negative method. As you, these are the all positive methods. This also it should be positive method. For seven, ending in seven, you can have both the choice, either positive or negative. But in case of ending in nine, uh, I, I suggest that you should use what you should use the negative method, isn't it? Ah, yes. Now I complete by this one, periodicity of the recurring decimal. Now periodicity of the recurring decimal, there is something, uh, the length of the uh, recurring decimal. So 999 is nine, called repeat nine numbers, repeat nine or rep nine numbers. Denominator three, has periodicity one because three is a factor of nine. Three is also a factor of doesn't matter, but three is minimum of nine is minimum of all, so it has periodicity one. Eleven, denominator eleven, it has periodicity two because eleven is a factor of ninety-nine. Twenty-seven or thirty-seven has periodicity three because they are factors of triple nine. Forty-one has periodicity five because factor is a factor of this one. This can be divided by forty-one. 7, 13, 21, 39, 63, all have periodicity 6 because all are being factors of 6 numbers of 9. So, in this particular table, I had given there is something called uh, there is some, some concept I have introduced that about hollow numbers. Hollow numbers are these, for example, uh, this is a hollow number. Both sides there is one, and but the uh, in between there are zeros. So this is called hollow number. So hollow four. This is hollow three. So uh, these are all con different considerations. I've seen that periodicity one, two, three, four, five, six, three, eleven, thirty-seven, and twenty-seven for three. I, uh, four has only one actually prime. One zero one. Five has periodicity uh, 41, 271, 1 to, 1 to 3 because of this. 41 into 3 is for this one. Uh, some are actually composite, some are, some are prime numbers as well as 7, 13. These are two prime. This is composite, 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 composite. This 259 is a, no, 259 also is uh, composite. This uh, periodicity 7 has this uh, 239 and 46, 49. They both are primes. Periodicity 8 has 73 and 137, both are prime. 
you should nine on the, these things and likewise 19 say comes here see 19 we have seen earlier no periodicity 18 19 has periodicity 18 so it is because 19 is a factor of 18 numbers of 9 if we write 9 9 9 8, 18 times 19 actually divides that particular number so therefore 19 has periodicity 18 Now, divisibility will uh, cover tomorrow. So, any question today? Any further question? Periodicity comes like that one. From that divisibility with these. Repeat nines. Repeat nine. Gautam ji, do you actually teach Vedic mathematics by itself as a subject? Uh, because a five days seems to be like, you know, uh, mathematics on steroids course, it is like five days too much to take uh, uh, because knowing the method is one thing, practicing it is another thing. We will do it offline. But do you have another course where you can go at a slower pace? Not only that, madam. Uh, actually, actually, people uh, who have studied general mathematics instead of composite mathematics, it, it is... It is uh, just like Italian uh, then, uh, language like that. So because uh, we studied in general math, uh, so composite math uh, we did not study. So it has become, you see, going this so I, far, I it told, is very difficult uh, for us to follow, sir. This I told very beginning that since childhood, we learned only one method and we thought that is something sacred about that. And something uh, doing, uh, I, I certain I got sometimes get comment that uh, these are tricks or something like that. No, these are not tricks. If we do not call our normal division and multiplication that we learned from childhood, those are not. If we do not call them tricks, how come there we are when we are learning in a different form we call them tricks? These are rigorous mathematics. There is a there is a rigorous reason why this is coming like this. These are not tricks. Yeah. These are all methods get got changed as as because you got a inherent algebra and you found uh, found a procedure. There's a rigorous procedure. These are, this can be a uh, procedure. You you learn multiple procedures. We are actually biased by a particular procedure that we learned from our childhood. Only one kind of these things, one kind of division, multiplication, so on. There will be other methods. That, ah. that is true, sir. That is true, sir. We are ready to, we are inclined to learn, but only thing is with so, so much of phase uh, for uh, within four or yeah. five days. How, how, much, how much time you took in the childhood to learn division and multiplication? Uh, sir, uh, uh, how? So, at, at least, at least now you have matured brain. Now I think um, much uh, lesser time will be required now to learning a different procedure. You, you uh, spend something like uh, two, three years of your childhood learning uh, uh, properly this multiplication and division. Now, this method uh, within five days, uh, how can we expect that we'll be uh, uh, understanding everything? So, you have to practice it. But with mature brain and, uh, you know, algebraic knowledge in the background, it will be very easy. Okay. But you have to practice it. You have to have a different framework of mind. These are not tricks. These are rigorous mathematics. But as I told, somebody wrote a paper on this. Somebody wrote and this is accepted in the international journal. Uh, the the uh, recurring decimal from right to left. And uh, he is claiming that it is this discovery. But actually, it is in that uh, first procedure. It is written in the, that particular book of the uh, uh, Bharati Krishnaji. Okay. So if you do not, if you are not uh, aware of something from childhood, then uh, pe the people will have misconception that there is something new has been being discovered uh, by them and so, so that. Okay. So these are, these are very much required. And you know that this uh, makes your brain more active. I have seen people, you believe it or not, I have seen people taking out a calculator when asked them, them what is the result of 25 into 25 divided by 25? This much thinking, they do not have that. We are, we, I told that 25 into 25, again divided by 25, immediately they are getting divided. So no need of cal calculator. They didn't understand. So this is the state of brain 
we are uh, producing with our generations by using too much uh, getting uh, dependent upon your uh, instruments calculator and uh, computer so this is the basic mathematics is the procedure to have a more you know to uh, encourage your brain cells to to learn new things so that you have better control on your uh, numbers number system and you can you can uh, you can discover new things this, this one nobody told this this is not in any book thank you speaking i am not uh, telling that i have done something very uh, very great i did a very uh, very mane uh, obvious thing mane i i didn't do anything only thing is that i changed the sign i found that this is this was creating difficulty so i tried just that uh, uh, if the, if this particular procedure this uh, you know if, if if the this particular procedure of basic uh, one line method is coming from the expansion of uh, 10 in minus 1 uh, to the power minus 1 why not uh, i just change it there is also a, this is 1 plus x is also 1 plus x to the power minus 1 is also there why not i try this one and i found that is possible i possible only what it does it, it does slightly it requires that there is a background noise kindly kindly other so understood so this basic mathematics gave me that idea that yes i can extend my logic so i want that everybody should uh, reach to the some extent that you discover something new or, uh, all the time all the time that you discover it means you don't have to publish a paper all for your own sake for your own ease of calculation you, you can uh, discover new new techniques and new things that is the basic mathematics means intuition intuitive mathematics and that intuitive intuitions must be open if intuition there is no limit of that intuition should open she sukuntala devi will never still know even she didn't doesn't know how how uh, how, how did he uh, that how did uh, did he uh, uh, evaluate this uh, one by when I mean, uh, 23rd root of a Uh, 201 digit number before when that time before computer when earlier than the com com computer available that time so human brain you exercise more it will be producing new new things you, you, and depending be, being dependent upon uh, calculator and computer all the time will make the brain idle and idle brain is the devil source of you know so and i have we have instances instances in west bengal the how devil source of are coming even the our uh, uh, in the education department yeah okay yeah, i think so we, have, we are crossing the time limit okay okay so what we meant to say is that these are not tricks those are uh, rigorous mathematics and you these are to uh, uh, encourage your brain to learn new things and uh, Invent new things. That is, invent or new, new techniques, new things. This is a very open subject. So I uh, invite everyone so that you very seriously will learn. So okay, I, I end in, in the session here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think one uh, Gupta ji he wants to talk. Okay. Uh, let us uh, ask a question. Ah, uh, Namaskar Mahoda. Yeah. You have. explained it to the extent possible in a very easy way very tough concept thank you for that one and uh, the second point is uh, can, will you please share your contact uh, details so that i would like to uh, talk to you separately because in this forum it is very difficult to discuss certain points and the third one is will you please give the reference where these procedures are mentioned in vedas because i tried but i could not tell you the reference i read out what bhanti uh, kishor told that the vedic actually ved actually originally means gyan he mentioned some that is some kalpa actually all are called in broad broad way uh, our veda expert in this group will tell that all ved vedanga upanishad in broader sense they all are called vedas so uh, in somewhere you he has written that it is coming from uh, atharva vedas some kalpa somewhere uh, i actually do not know uh, and but but see i will read out the very word veda has this derivational meaning that is the fountain head of 
illimitable uh, storehouse of no all knowledge. So Veda is considered as a storehouse of all knowledge. And uh, this derivation in effect means uh, and uh, connotes and uh, implies that the Veda should contain within themselves all the knowledge needed by mankind relating not only to the so-called spiritual spiritual matters, but also to the uh, money, uh, to the earthly matters also, like this mathematics or the physics, physics you told. So Veda actually should encompass all the all the knowledge. So in that sense, it is Vedic, and it is in multiple of uh, multiple ways. So not limiting to the one way. That is that. In, in fact, conventional mathematics also you can uh, There is no harm in calling them Vedic. But those are really only taught only one. That is what my objection is. That since childhood, why should we learn only one method of uh, multiplication, division, and so on? So that okay. is the. What okay. you said, <laughs> sir, what you said is perfectly correct. We should learn the new methods. But my question is, is this from Vedas or is it discovered recently by the people? Uh, actually, this uh, Bharati Krishnaji wrote this Vedic mathematics. Maybe that is extension of, we can call it the extension of Veda. Why not? It is extension of Veda, ex, Veda can be extensible, ex, extensible. Okay. Extension is possible. Okay, okay. Got Today we point. discover something and we can include in Veda, no problem. Hmm. Today's all modern scientific method. In that tomorrow's Veda, uh, say after a few centuries, maybe that nuclear physics is, uh, as it is discovered in this form, is included in Veda. So Veda has a storehouse of all knowledge, as he discovered, I mean, as he told. So therefore, his Vedic mathematics, what he wrote, he, he was a, actually a great mathematician also. And he, I, I don't know, he's actually, I forgot his, uh, what background he worked with. And uh, the last seven years of his, of his age, after retirement, you know, from a scientific job, uh, he wrote this book with a lot of study of mathematics. And he, there are algebra also, a lot of uh, equations. Uh, those, those things are not, not in the first course. But tomorrow we'll be uh, covering the divisibility. So those all are part of Veda, I can say. But he, of course, has the reference somewhere. When he, some of the indications, those Ekadikonu Purvendo, you got it from somewhere. And Nikhil Amnavata, Saramada Sutta, he must have gotten from somewhere. Okay. Okay. Uh, Jayanti ji. Namaskar, Mahodaya. My request to the coordinators and to Gautam ji, is it possible to have a separate course on Vedic mathematics um, it need not be a certificate course, but for fun to actually go it at, uh, at a slow pace where we can consume this, practice it and do it. It is so fantastic, too fabulous. But at the same time, uh, the pace is too fast, unable to keep up meaning with a day job and work and this now, course. And now, if the VSS is actually uh, in some Saturday or Sunday, if the VSS uh, thinks that uh, there is no other lecture, uh, and uh, asked me to uh, learn a tutorial uh, session on uh, mm -hmm. somewhere in the daytime, uh, say 10 o'clock or in the, um, say uh, 4 o'clock. Uh, mm -hmm. And I can take it, no problem. I can take only problem solving and uh, this thing. Definitely. If this week over and tomorrow's class will be over, then you can have that uh, tutorial classes. We'll, uh, we'll right. plan, Gautam ji. We'll plan. Uh, in fact, you know, we are going to plan an advanced course. Hmm. So we can have an advanced course in uh, Vedic mathematics itself. All those who are interested in mathematics can uh, join in that course, like Jain teaching. So now I think we have uh, 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 time is up. Let us close. Only one thing I want to add is that uh, people wanted to know uh, Gautamji's number. That has already oh. been shared in the group. It has already yeah, yeah, been yeah. shared. So people can interact with him directly. And then get the clarifications. Thank you. This is the this, this is I'm showing the number. This is this is my number. This is my number, 9832972. I give the exercise that whether this is divisible by th uh, 7, 13, 17, <laughs> and so on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is that uh, 9832972 is my number. Okay, thank you.
लेट्स हैव प्रार्थना आनंद सिंह जी ओम स्वस्ति प्रजाद्य परिपालयन्तां न्यायेन मार्गेण महिमहिषा ओ ब्राह्मणे भ्य शुभमस्तु नित्यम लोका समस्ता सुखिनो भवन्तु काले वर्षत पर्जन्य पृथ्वी सशालिनी देशो यम क्षोभ रहित ब्राह्मण सन्त निर्दया अपुत्रा पुत्रिण सन्त पुत्रिण सन्त पौत्रिण अदना सदना सन्त जीवन शरदा शत सुखिन सर्वे सन्त सर्वे भद्रा पश्यंत मा कचि दुख भाग भवे ओम असतोमा सद्गमय तमसोमा ज्योतिर्गमय मृत्योर्मा अमृतंगमय ओम शांते शांते शांति ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमीद पूर्णा पूर्ण मुद्यते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवावशिष्य ओम शांते शांते शांति अरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम अरि ओम सर्वे धन्यवाद धन्यवाद मन चल चिटीबाब गए जनगणमन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंधु गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंगा विन्य हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उज्ज्वल जलधि तरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मांगे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे जय हे जय जय हिंद नमस्कार नमस्कार